Hey guys, welcome back to Delaware Acre. We are currently getting some housework done on our house <laughs> and there's a lot of noise in the background. So I'm doing a quick little intro voice over here and then I'll be adding some text on the screen. But this is a little update, uh, beginning of June, I'm a little late getting this video out due to construction, uh, more on that to come. And yeah, just wanted to give you a little update. There is some audio in the recording, so yeah, enjoy. I'm probably gonna pull these soon. The peas are overflowing. So many peas. So many peas. So I'm gonna come out here and harvest some of those. And then I have tomatoes growing up in between. So these peas, I don't see any more flower set on them, so I'm actually gonna harvest everything. Not sure what variety it is. I'd have to go back and look it up. But these, these darker plants with, I'll show you the difference, this pod versus this pod. You can see the difference. This pod is much tastier than this pod. And we are shell our peas kind of people, so, so we take them out of the pod. Then I let a lot of these volunteers stay here in the hopes that they were gonna kind of like vine out, but I'm not really sure what I'm working with here. I might have to thin this out because my beans, oh look, I got a couple of beans and something else ate them. A couple of beans here and there. Oh look, cool. But I am gonna succession plant some beans there. And these strawberries, I have decided to nix the strawberry bed. Um, I did not cover these up with straw over the winter. I didn't straw my strawberries. And there are, there was very little berries. They were very small. And the slugs, I just, I can't deal with the slugs anymore. The slugs are just awful. And yeah, oh look, is this one, oh look. Yeah, see, everything is like that. It's not feeling it. So I am actually going to just take all of this out and just put it in the compost and do something else in this bed. If I do strawberries, I might get another, I might put them in planters or we were talking about there's so much space between these rows because initially my husband wanted to get the mower in between. So I think... He was talking about maybe putting a real thin bed in in the middle so that I could walk but then I can't get a wheelbarrow through so I'm not I'm not really sure what I want to do but um, I think I'm definitely nixing the strawberry bed it needs to be amended and filled it's it's all the way down it's only two boards high of soil in there 
on this bed is just crazy. I guess I could probably take these off now. The birds aren't interested in these taller plants, I don't think. So, but my little fish pepper right there is getting shaded by, by all of this. So I'm gonna try to come over here and see if anything has tendrils. I'm gonna try to have it, try to pull it through. Like I need to thin, there's a couple extra things in there. I need to thin that out. But see, this guy's got tendrils, so he's, he's gonna grow up. So then I can thin out his, his leaves. So this other bed over here is not looking too bad. I've got some yard long beans in the back there that is, looks like it's trying to, trying to reach out, which I'm okay with. And then I did my little slug traps. That one doesn't have any in there. That one doesn't have any in there. This one has one in there, you can see him. Gross. So, yeah, I'm a little worried that this soil that I put in was a little, uh, it's a little too, it's hard. But we had some really good rain this week, so these guys are starting to pop up, these uh, hot peppers, but those guys in the middle there, they're not really, not really doing quite so hot. Oh, look, that yard long bean went over to my, <laughs> This one's got got one in there. Ugh, gross, gross. Well, that one got knocked over, so that one didn't do anything. See, getting eaten. I need to get this got knocked over. I need to put this right here. Get all of this leaf mulch away from it. That helps. These little tomatoes are just, I don't think they're going to do anything. Oh, look how many slugs are in this one. Look, ready? You see them all in there? Gross, right? Look at them all. No wonder my plants are getting eaten alive. Literally. Gross. Gross. So we'll refill those up. garden friend. Hi bud. Alright, you take your little home. Frog, frog friend. Here's all of our garlic. Pretty good. Not too bad. Some of these bulbs are really big, but they were starting to open up. Like this one that's got a little pill bug living in there. These were the ones that ripped off. These little guys, these are white scallop squash. So I'm not sure if these guys get tendrils or if these are like a zucchini type plant. Zucchini planted here. 
that I think I'm going to put one of these, I'm going to get one of these to put up and grow it up and see if it keeps uh, the vine borers out. So yeah, I'm going to thin this bed out a little bit. I've got a little too much pumpkin leafage happening. Oh, this is a ground cherry. I was going to try to get to live. Not sure how that's going to happen. I'm just going to go ahead and have so many pumpkins here. I'm just going to go That my first turn up. Yeah. A little baby one. Holy moly. All right. This one, something was eaten. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. There's probably something in there. 